Test 2. There are five parts to the test. You will hear each piece twice. We will now stop for a moment before we start the test. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Now look at the instructions for part one. For each question, choose the correct answer. One. How did Richard travel from the airport? Richard, what are you doing here? I was planning to pick you up from the airport at three o'clock. Oh, I arrived at two. I told you the wrong time to meet me, sorry. But a taxi from the airport's so expensive. Did you take the bus? My colleague Andy gave me a lift. That's why I'm home so early. Now listen again. Richard, what are you doing here? I was planning to pick you up from the airport at three o'clock. Oh, I arrived at two. I told you the wrong time to meet me, sorry. But a taxi from the airport's so expensive. Did you take the bus? My colleague Andy gave me a lift. That's why I'm home so early. Two. What is next to the woman's new flat? Do you like your new flat, Amanda? Very much, thanks. My old one was next to a railway station, so it was a bit noisy. But your new building beside the river is very different, isn't it? Yes. It takes ten minutes to walk to the nearest shop, but I don't mind that. Great. Now listen again. Do you like your new flat, Amanda? Very much, thanks. My old one was next to a railway station, so it was a bit noisy. But your new building beside the river is very different, isn't it? Yes. It takes ten minutes to walk to the nearest shop, but I don't mind that. Great. Three. What job does the man do? You look tired, Paul. Has work been busy? Yes, very. Several cars were stolen in this area this week, so we've had a lot of extra work to do. Fortunately, we found them. A garage is checking them, but they seem okay. So now can you have a rest? Yes. I'm going to spend all weekend at home playing the piano. Now listen again. You look tired, Paul. Has work been busy? Yes, very. Several cars were stolen in this area this week, so we've had a lot of extra work to do. Fortunately, we found them. A garage is checking them, but they seem okay. So now can you have a rest? Yes. I'm going to spend all weekend at home playing the piano. Four. Which T-shirt does the girl decide to buy? Why don't you get your little brother this T-shirt, Daisy? I like the stars on it. Yes, but that one with a lion's head is very unusual. And I love this one too, with a drum on it. So, which one would he prefer, do you think? Probably the one you found. I'll get that one. Now listen again. Why don't you get your little brother this T-shirt, Daisy? I like the stars on it.
Yes, but that one with a lion's head is very unusual. And I love this one too, with a drum on it. So, which one would he prefer, do you think? Probably the one you found. I'll get that one. Five. Where are the car keys? Lisa, I can't find my car keys. Have you seen them? Have you looked on the bookcase? You sometimes leave them on top of it. Yes, but they aren't there. I left them on the kitchen table, but I can't see them now. Here they are, in this drawer in the kitchen. I probably put them there when I was tidying up. Thanks. Now listen again. Lisa, I can't find my car keys. Have you seen them? Have you looked on the bookcase? You sometimes leave them on top of it. Yes, but they aren't there. I left them on the kitchen table, but I can't see them now. Here they are, in this drawer in the kitchen. I probably put them there when I was tidying up. Thanks. That is the end of part one. Now look at part two. For each question, write the correct answer in the gap. Write one word, or a number, or a date, or a time. Look at questions six to ten now. You have ten seconds. You will hear someone talking on the radio about a competition. I want to tell you about a very exciting short story competition. It's for 16-year-olds, so if you are one or know one, listen carefully. There are some brilliant prizes. Three stories will win a camera, but the best story will win a computer. A fantastic prize, I'm sure you'll agree. There are some special things to say about the story. It must be 750 words exactly. 800 is too many, and 700 is too few. It can be a funny story or a happy story, but there's one word you have to use, and that's snow. So your story could take place in winter. Or in the mountains, perhaps. You must send your story to us by the 19th of June. It's the 3rd of June now, so you have two weeks to get the perfect story ready. Upload your story to our website. It's www.caro.com. I'll spell that for you. C A R R O W. You can see all the details of the competition there, too. Now listen again. I want to tell you about a very exciting short story competition. It's for 16-year-olds, so if you are one or know one, listen carefully. There are some brilliant prizes. Three stories will win a camera. But the best story will win a computer. A fantastic prize, I'm sure you'll agree. There are some special things to say about the story. It must be 750 words exactly. 800 is too many, and 700 is too few. It can be a funny story or a happy story. But there's one word you have to use, and that's snow. So your story could take place in winter, or in the mountains, perhaps. You must send your story to us by the 19th of June. It's the 3rd of June now, so you have two weeks to get the perfect story ready. 
upload your story to our website. It's www.caro.com. I'll spell that for you. C A R R O W. You can see all the details of the competition there too. That is the end of part two. Now look at part three. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds. You will hear a brother and sister, Ben and Lily, talking about their mother's birthday. Hi, Ben. Don't forget it's Mum's birthday next week. Let's buy her present tomorrow. Are you free after breakfast? I've got football practice, Lily. And you've got a swimming lesson at three o'clock. The shops are open until nine. Shall we go about seven o'clock? I can meet you in town. Perfect. Let's get some earrings. There's a good jewellery shop in town. Mm, it's expensive. Can we look in the department store? OK. There are some nice things there. They sell jewellery on the market too, but they're old things. Yes. Are we going to have a party for Mum? I know. How about taking her out for lunch? Or have a barbecue in the park? It might rain. Let's go to a restaurant. OK. Shall we invite Mum's best friend? I haven't seen her for a long time, but I think she'll come. I'll ring her. Mum will be excited. <laughs> Great. Will you make your special drink for Mum? The lemon and orange one? <laughs> Actually... I'm making something better. Oh, the melon and honey drink? No, banana and cream. Fantastic! Now listen again. Hi, Ben. Don't forget it's Mum's birthday next week. Let's buy her present tomorrow. Are you free after breakfast? I've got football practice, Lily. And you've got a swimming lesson at three o'clock. The shops are open until nine. Shall we go about seven o'clock? I can meet you in town. Perfect. Let's get some earrings. There's a good jewellery shop in town. Mm, it's expensive. Can we look in the department store? OK. There are some nice things there. They sell jewellery on the market too. But they're old things. Yes. Are we going to have a party for Mum? I know. How about taking her out for lunch? Or have a barbecue in the park? It might rain. Let's go to a restaurant. OK. Shall we invite Mum's best friend? I haven't seen her for a long time, but I think she'll come. I'll ring her. Mum will be excited. <laughs> Great. Will you make your special drink for Mum? The lemon and orange one? <laughs> Actually, I'm making something better. Oh, the melon and honey drink? No, banana and cream. Fantastic! That is the end of part three. Now look at part four. For each question, choose the correct answer. Sixteen.
You will hear a woman telling her friend about a holiday. What was the only thing she liked about her holiday? How was your trip? Not bad. I only booked an inexpensive room, so I was really worried it wasn't going to be very nice, but it was perfect. And did you go sightseeing? Yeah, I went on a walking tour. Actually, the guide wasn't great, and he recommended a terrible restaurant for me to go to. Oh, dear. Now listen again. How was your trip? Not bad. I only booked an inexpensive room. So I was really worried it wasn't going to be very nice, but it was perfect. And did you go sightseeing? Yeah, I went on a walking tour. Actually, the guide wasn't great, and he recommended a terrible restaurant for me to go to. Oh, dear. Seventeen. You will hear a woman talking to her husband about a problem. Why is the woman upset? What's the matter? The mechanic just called with some disappointing news. Is it the engine? Yes. It's going to cost quite a lot, and we don't really have the money at the moment. It's going to take a while, too. Well, you can take my bike for a few days. I'll get the bus to work. Now listen again. What's the matter? The mechanic just called with some disappointing news. Is it the engine? Yes. It's going to cost quite a lot, and we don't really have the money at the moment. It's going to take a while, too. Well, you can take my bike for a few days. I'll get the bus to work. Eighteen. You will hear an advertisement on the radio. What's the main reason for the advertisement? Did you know that Sports World is your newest sports shop? And we're opening this Friday with two champions playing table tennis for our customers. Don't miss this exciting match. You should come and see our wide range of sports kit with the best prices in town. We've got hundreds of items on our shelves for everything from badminton to windsurfing. Now listen again. Did you know that Sports World is your newest sports shop? And we're opening this Friday with two champions playing table tennis for our customers. Don't miss this exciting match. You should come and see our wide range of sports kit with the best prices in town. We've got hundreds of items on our shelves for everything from badminton to windsurfing. Nineteen. You will hear a boy talking with his mother about one of his paintings. What doesn't the boy like about his painting? The bright colours you've used for those roses you've painted are fantastic. Thanks, Mum. I spent hours planning the way I wanted them to look, so I'm glad you've noticed that. But don't you think the painting's a bit too large? But it'll fit nicely above your desk. Oh, OK. At least I now know how to paint flowers. Now listen again. The bright colours you've used for those roses you've painted are fantastic. Thanks, Mum. I spent hours planning the way I wanted them to look, so I'm glad you've noticed that. But 
Don't you think the painting's a bit too large? But it'll fit nicely above your desk. Oh, OK. At least I now know how to paint flowers. Twenty. You will hear a girl talking to her father about a sports blog. What reason does the girl give for liking the blog? Dad, you won't believe this. I've won a t-shirt from a sports blog. Oh, really? How did you win that? The blogger asked her readers to post their opinions about her blog, and she liked mine best. What did you say? I thanked her for including articles about famous snowboarders. That's why I read the blog whenever I can. 21. Now listen again. Dad, you won't believe this. I've won a t-shirt from a sports blog. Oh, really? How did you win that? The blogger asked her readers to post their opinions about her blog, and she liked mine best. What did you say? I thanked her for including articles about famous snowboarders. That's why I read the blog whenever I can. 22. That is the end of part four. Now look at part five. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 21 to 25 now. You have 15 seconds. You will hear a woman talking to her teenage son about putting some things in the right places in their new house. Where should her son put each thing? Where shall I put this car magazine, Mum? Leave it on the stairs, please. I'll take it to my bedroom later. OK. And does this bowl go in the kitchen? Actually, can you put it on the shelf above the bath, please? Sure. Oh, can I have this new lamp in my bedroom? Sorry, it's for us to use outdoors. So put it next to the apple tree. What's in this heavy box? Books. Some of them will go in the living room and some in my bedroom. Put the box on the table next to the cooker. I'll move it before we need the table for dinner. OK. This clock was in the hall in our old house, wasn't it? Yes, but I want it next to my wardrobe. I like to know what time it is when I wake up. What about this chair? Shall I put it in the living room? Leave it in the entrance by the front door. It's very heavy, so let's keep it downstairs. Now listen again. Where shall I put this car magazine, Mum? Leave it on the stairs, please. I'll take it to my bedroom later. OK. And does this bowl go in the kitchen? Actually, can you put it on the shelf above the bath, please? Sure. Oh, can I have this new lamp in my bedroom? Sorry. It's for us to use outdoors, so put it next to the apple tree. What's in this heavy box? Books. Some of them will go in the living room and some in my bedroom. Put the box on the table next to the cooker. I'll move it before we need the table for dinner. OK. This clock was in the hall in our old house, wasn't it? Yes. 
but I want it next to my wardrobe. I like to know what time it is when I wake up. What about this chair? Shall I put it in the living room? Leave it in the entrance by the front door. It's very heavy, so let's keep it downstairs. That is the end of part five. You now have six minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet.
You have one more minute. That is the end of the test.